Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about Lucas Duda. That's right, he's starting opening day. Minnesota Twins, that's right, I'm lying. You've seen the title. You've probably read the description. Lucas Duda has been, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say cut, but he has opted out of his uh, contract for the 2019 season with the Twins. Um, and we can go through that all in a second and everything about it. But I do want to know what you guys think about this. I did make a video about him signing. Geez, probably about a month ago, maybe a little bit more than a month ago. Uh, but it's really interesting to see, you know, he was signed uh, with the Twins. I don't know why he would sign with the Twins in the first place, to be honest. But, you know, it looked like he was going to be playing for the Twins. Maybe a minor league deal. I think that's what we signed him to initially. Um, but then to see him gone a couple weeks later is very interesting. So, let me know what you guys think about that, but let's get into his contract first. So we signed a one-year, $1.75 million, $1.75, that's almost $2 million, it's a lot of money, uh, for one year uh, to play in the minors, right? And if he got up to the majors, he would be given a $1.5 million increase. I mean, that's a pretty good incentive, right? So what, if he does make the majors, that is... $3.25 million. I can do math, right? Um, and, I mean, he's he's playing. He's probably on the bench, but he's playing for the Minnesota Twins. So, here's the dilemma, right? And this is why it's very interesting to see why he even signed with the Twins in the first place. So, obviously, we're trying to replace Joe Maurer and Logan Morrison. Logan Morrison sucked, and Maurer retired. So, I mean, Ma Morrison also retired, but he's now a free agent. It's kind of weird. Uh, he sucked anyways. I would not pick him up. But obviously, Maurer was our first baseman uh, for you know almost every game. And we need to replace him. So what did we do? We went out and picked up CJ Cron. CJ Cron is basically Morrison from the other side. He played for the Rays. We went and picked him up. And I think he's a little bit better than Morrison. But, you know, we picked him up. And we need a backup for him, right? Well, we have Tyler Austin, who we picked up last season from... The Yankees, I think, who did we trade? Lance Lynn? Did we tr was that a straight trade? Pretty much Lance Lynn for Tyler Austin? I can't really remember. But um, Tyler Austin came over. He played first for most of the time. Um, or not most of the time, but he got a couple of games in there while Maurer and Morrison were on the bench. Um, or Maurer DH'd and Morrison sucked, so he got put on the bench. But uh, So he played first a little bit, and you know it looked like he was going to be the first baseman. Then we picked up Kron, and then we picked up Duda, right? So, the only reason I think Duda would sign is if he thought he would play. Because Kron's a righty, Duda's a lefty. It makes sense to platoon those two guys um, instead of Tyler Austin, right? Because, um, you know, he, you have two righties. Basically the same thing, right? Power hitters, uh, first baseman righties, you know, all the same stuff. So, it doesn't really make sense to keep both of them. Well, we're not going to get rid of CJ Kron because we just picked him up, right? So, you know what I'm saying there? Put that there. We'll get stats later in a second. Um, so it's like, well, you've got two very similar players. It makes sense to pull Duda and put him in there. But now we've gone through, and I mentioned that we should trade CJ Cron, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen, obviously, just because, you know, we went and picked him up. So it doesn't make sense to trade him. Tyler Austin, I think we could definitely trade at some point, but now that Duda is gone, we don't really have another first baseman to back him up, um, especially that Snow is hurt. I mean, Snow could play first, uh, but in order to fill Snow's spot, Gonzalez has to play over there. He could play first as well. Andre Yanza, I guess, could play some first. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of players right now, and they're all kind of not first baseman except for CJ Cron and Tyler Austin. So those are probably going to be our two guys that we're going to rock with, but it's just kind of, it's just really weird to see Duda leave. But obviously, I can see it from his standpoint where, you know, you came, you want to play on a major league team, right? You signed a minor league deal with an incentive to come up to the majors. However, you played with the Royals last year. Obviously, that's a bust. Um, I mean, if they pay you well, right, you'll play for them. But you're not going to be winning anything there. Um, who do you play for? The Mets? Anybody? Who else did he play for? Is that it? He's moved around a little bit. But he's played in the major league, you know, major league teams. And for the Twins to sign him to a minor league deal, I can see why maybe he wouldn't be so much interested in that. Like, I'm a major league player. I should be playing in the majors. You guys can use me. And if you can't, I'll go somewhere else kind of thing, right? So, obviously, I mean, maybe there's a couple teams that would pick him up. Orioles, maybe? Who do the Orioles have for a first baseman? But 
there's going to be a team that's probably willing to pay uh, a left-handed power hitter, um, you know, more money to play in the majors like the Orioles. Uh, I guess I, re I really don't know who plays first base for the Orioles, so maybe that's a bad idea. But, you know, going back to the Royals or, or Detroit or somebody like that to just, oh, I guess Miggy's playing for the Orioles, isn't he? Miggy is, is over there now. So, um, you know, to go to one of these, these teams who don't have a first baseman makes a lot of sense. And, you know, he could probably get paid about the same to actually play in the majors or, you know, what do you want to do? And the final thing is, um, I like this idea. I don't. I don't think we really need a Duda. Um, honestly, I see another Morrison in him. Um, I'm very skeptical about all of our first basemen because it seems as if the the Twins just have a, a a love for power hitting first basemen. And obviously, that's you know a big deal. Is that's one of the only positions that really rely on power. I guess. Um, you know because. They don't do anything else. They it's kind of like a DH that is on the field. So I mean, you should have a power hitter. Obviously, the Twins had Mauer. Mauer is a contact guy. But I mean, if you look at a lot of other places, it's power. However, we go for the guys who can't hit. I don't know. If there's just not a lot of first basemen in the league. Like I know Joey Votto's good. Freddie Freeman's good. Um, who else is good? I guess Miggy's okay. Uh, Mauer was really good. Uh, who else are like diamonds in the show? I guess I don't. I don't really know, but they're all power guys, right? Um, but why do the Twins always pick up the worst guys, right? Like, we picked up Morrison. Morrison hit 200, right? And um, and then you look at other guys like, uh, I, I guess the good example would be Freddie Freeman, who is kind of an all-around player. The Twins never want to go after somebody like that. They always just want a strict power hitter, and I think that's what the Twins really need to get away from. I think that's great that we avoided it with Duda. I don't think Duda would have done much. Um, I mean, here, let's go through his stats really quickly for the spring training. Uh, in 13 games this spring, he hit 258. Uh, on base percentage was 395, a slugging of 355 with three doubles and seven walks. It's not bad, but obviously, if you know you're going to play in the minors, you want to. For that, for those stats, you, sh you think you probably should be playing in the majors, and he was going to be playing in the minors. So, uh, you know. It's just interesting to see why the Twins go after these guys all the time instead of going after maybe a speedy first baseman. I know Rod Carew comes to mind. Jackie Robinson, who were, you know, great contact hitters, played first base, a uh, little bit of second base as well. But, you know, those guys, why do the Twins always want to take a power hitter who's not top of the line? I, I'm just thinking here, um, you know, maybe you guys agree. Instead of going after a Morrison, a Duda, a Kron, who's only trying to hit home runs. You know, why don't you go after a Freddie Freeman, another Joe Maurer player, where he gets on base. It's kind of the money ball approach as well. It's like, hey, yes, we want a home run hitter, but we want to win games, right? And and it seems as if the pass will repeat itself if you continue to go out and just get power hitting first baseman. Um, I guess who, is there anybody else in the league besides like Freddie Freeman who's like really fast at first base? I guess I don't know. Huh. Let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anybody that's like really fast or like an all-around hitter at first base. Freddie Freeman is pretty much the only guy that comes to mind. Um, and it's just, you know, I want to see the Twins do really well. And I think they will. I think that Lucas due to leaving um, probably does benefit the team a little bit more. They do get a little bit more money. Um, not that they really need that, but it's obviously good to have. Uh, they avoid somebody who probably is going to be about a Morrison player. Um, and, you know, like, it, it does free some some room up to bring up a guy like, you know, Krilloff or, or Nick Gordon if they need to. Um, so, you know, I think it's a really, really good idea. But I do want to know what you guys think if, you know, we were to go out and get somebody, right? And, and not this season, maybe not next season, but to go out and get somebody, who would it be? Honestly, I really do like the speed kind of contact player at first base. Uh, you know, we have a ton of power hitters. We've got Cruz. We've got Scope. We've got, you know, even Polanco and Rosario. Like, a, a Rosario at first base would be pretty awesome, uh, in my opinion, to put to put a guy like that out there at first base who's who can hit for contact power and is pretty fast out there. So, I mean, that's just kind of my idea, but... I do want to know what you guys think about this whole deal with Duda, if the Twins are making the right decisions by, you know, 
what they're doing at first base in general, or if it was, you know, maybe time to push Duda out the door, say, hey, you're not going to be playing in the majors. So if you want to leave, go ahead. I don't know, but I just want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and any other videos you want me to talk about. That's all I got for you today. Uh, short video, but I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another one. Peace out.